morning, everyone. Today's tu Tuesday, June 20. Yes, yeah, she's oh, on. Okay, you are. I'm sorry. Oh, when you said everybody's on, apologize. Anyway, June. De <laughs> Just <t> June 23rd, 2020. The time is 2 p.m. This is our weekly business meeting. Calling this meeting to order, and I'm going to ask Lieutenant Higgins if he would please lead us in the pledge. Okay, so uh, attending our commissioners, uh, Duncan and Filios, Commissioner Bill Brooks uh, has a medical appointment and hopefully will be in tomorrow. So we'll move on to the consent calendar. I move we approve the consent calendar as listed on our business meeting agenda for uh, June 23rd, 2020. Second. I'm waiting <laughs> on <okay>. Bill. <laughs> Creature of habit. <laughs> I am motion carried. Moving on to the payables list. I move that we approve the payables for the week of June 15th through the 19th, 2020, in the amount of $341,587.73. No jury panel payments. Second. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Phileas? Aye. That's approved. Uh, changes to the agenda? None. Hearing none, moving on to the first of our action items. Contract for metals recycling or with metals with American Recycling Corporation, solid waste. Kathy. Yes, Kathy Mayer, solid waste director for the record. I have to make sure I have the correct one out. Um, I have two contracts today. This first one is for American Recycling um, Company. It's for our metals like the scrap metal, the appliances and and miscellaneous metals collected at the transfer stations. So this term, this one does a one year, but then it has another two year extension on it. It is a revenue contract, so we get some money back on it. Great. Okay, motion. Right. I move that we approve the contract for metals recycling with American Recycling Corporation. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye, and the motion is carried. Item number two, agreement for lead acid battery recycling with interstate batteries. Once again, Kathy. Uh, yes, this is a contract initial term is for two years, and we have an option to renew for up to three additional terms, and we have been working with interstate for a lot of years. Um, this is for mainly the lead acid batteries, like from vehicles. It's also a revenue contract. Oh, wow. Interesting. Great. Okay, motion. I move that we approve the agreement for the lead acid battery recycling with interstate batteries. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Williams. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Kathy. Item number three, SFY21 Waterways Improvement Fund Grant Award Marine Truck Replacement with Idaho Parks and Recreation in our Resource Management Office in behalf of our sheriff's organization. Would this be Kim? I believe Lieutenant Higgins will speak today. Oh, Lieutenant, yeah, please come forward. <laughs> uh, so uh, last year we put in for a grant through Idaho Department of Parks and Recreation for a new uh, tow vehicle, and that grant was awarded. And so uh, we should be receiving funds for their side of things here shortly. I think their, uh, their budget process ends the end of June. And, uh, and then in fiscal year 2021 is where we have the match for that. So we won't, we may, if there's enough funds, we'll move, move forward and buy the truck now or order it. And then we'll put all the stuff on it using our matching funds. And in, then take it out of the 21. Yep. Take it out of yep. 21. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And it'll be through the vessel account. Yes. Funds is where it's coming. And that's roughly the $36,500 award and a 22.4K match. That's great. Right. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the, uh, State Fiscal Year 21 Waterways Improvement Fund um, Grant Award for the Marine Truck Replacement uh, from Idaho Parks and Recreation. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Aye. Motion carried. Item number four, Fiscal Year 21 Law Enforcement Partnership for Success Grant Award Resource Management Office in conjunction with our Sheriff's Organization, Lieutenant Higgins again, sir. 
Uh, we put in for a, uh, this is a, a reoccurring grant that we put, put in for and we got approved uh, for $24,421.32. And these dollars are reimbursed for um, a salary for deputies to work overtime on drug enforcement, specific drug enforcement and uh, juvenile party patrols. And so we'll do that throughout the summer and, and fall with a, and no cost to the county. Super. Okay, motion. I move that we approve the FI 21 Law Enforcement Partnership for Success Grant Award. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Vallejos. Aye. Motion carried. <laughs> Item number five, contract for temporary staffing services with Express Employment Professionals, HR. Kim. Hi. This is just a continuation of an existing contract with Express Employment Professionals. Um, there were absolutely no increases to what we were paying last year. A little bit of a delay in getting this from the company itself, and that's not why we're not exactly on our renewal date, but um, no changes. Okay. 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 Motion. I move that we approve the contract for temporary staffing services with Express Employment Professionals. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Kim. Item number six, agreement to, uh, to provide law enforcement services, state line speedway, Lieutenant Higgins for our sheriff's organization. Uh, so this year, the State Line Speedway is doing an event on the 3rd of July. It'll be a fireworks show and a demo derby. It's an annual event for them. They're anticipating about 3,000 spectators. That's what their limit is going to be. Usually it's around nine. Um, they've re, uh, asked to uh, have two deputies assigned to that detail under contract. Uh, they'll pay for all the salary related mm -hmm. to that event. It'll go from about five, well, 4 o'clock to about midnight is what mm -hmm. they're going to run and they'll cover all the costs with it, and we'll supply them with two deputies and do their thing. Do they typically have deputies out there? Last year they did four, but this year with the lower with the crowd, lower they're going to do lesser two. Crowd. Okay. All right. Motion. I move that we approve the agreement to provide law enforcement services with State Line Speedway. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Aye. Motion carried. I have a signed copy from the manager at State Line that I'll oh, give to okay. you guys. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. the sheriff is out of the office, or I would have had him sign it today, too. So. Appreciate it. Fine. We'll just make sure we give yeah, it to Terry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Item number seven, award. Badge, do, uh, we're awarding the badge and duty weapon and ID for retirement of Sergeant Strangeland within our sheriff's organization. Go right ahead. Yep. Sergeant Stanglin's going to be retiring after 20 plus years of uh, law enforcement in the jail. Uh, he started before I did back in 1995. And so um, we would like to provide him or award him his badge and, and his duty weapon as a recognition for his service. What's the typical time frame? Do you have, they have to serve so long or it just has to be a retirement or what? State what's loss, your... and don't quote me on this, but the sheriff would know for sure, but I think it's 10 years they have oh, to okay. serve in law enforcement in order to, but I don't know for sure on that. Sure. Okay. 22 years. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the award of badge uh, and duty weapon and ID card to Sergeant Stanglin on his retirement. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Item number eight, award the badge and duty weapon and ID for another retirement for Deputy Hast of our sheriff's organization. Correct. Paul Hast has been with the department 20 plus years and it's uh, he's uh, given his notice of retirement and I think it's going to be in September if I'm not mistaken and uh, again we would like to provide him with his badge and duty weapon and ID card as a token of our appreciation. Sure. Okay. I move that we approve the award of badge and duty weapon and ID um, upon retirement of Deputy Hast. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. 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 Motion Thank carried. You. Thank you. Number nine, independent contractor agreement for chaplain services for our youth advocacy, community outreach, juvenile probation, and juvenile detention. And I presume the gentleman's name is L Lanterman? Jackson Lanterman. Yep. Mm -hmm. Debbie Nagy, Director of Juvenile Probation for the record. Commissioners, this is a three-month contract through the rest of this fiscal year. Um, it assumes the previous contract that had been approved um, for the same amount through the end of this fiscal year. It'll renew for an annual when we do all our contracts after our FY21 budget is approved. 
Okay. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the independent contractor agreement for chaplain services um, with our youth advocacy community outreach program um, with Mr. Lanterman. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Thank you Deb. Item number 10, termination of lease, AAL-2019-500, CDA Northwest LLC at the airport. Stephen. Commissioner Stephen Kiergaard, for the record, this is a termination of a lease agreement due to the hangar being sold, and this is uh, be rectified in the next day. Right, so you want to do them together? Because then the next one's the issuing of yeah. the lease. Right, so we can move on to item number 11. Ground lease AAL 2020-930 for party Irvin at the airport. This is a new, le uh, new lease agreement for that item just before. Uh, it's at a current rate and it's $2,247.01 per year. Okay. I move, I move that we approve the termination of lease AAL 2019-500 CDA Northwest LLC and approve the ground lease AAL 2020-930, which is Irvin. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Stephen. Item number 12, change order number one, phase three, Fairgrounds RV Park with Stewart Construction. Kim Riley for the fairgrounds. Go, Kim. Or is it Sean? Or it might be Sean. Sean. Good afternoon, Commissioner. Sean Riley for the record. Um, this is the first change order we've had since the last meeting. Um, this is fairgrounds RV Park Phase 3. Basically, as it sits right now, we're about $82,000 under budget, so we have the money to pay for this. The fairgrounds has asked for some additional frost-free hydrants, an additional gate, in front of the um, dumpster and then some additional fencing to try to kind of separate the horse arena and all that traffic from the RV park. Uh, RMO has reviewed the change order and they're fine with it. So we're just asking for approval. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Motion. I move that we approve the change order number one for phase three of the Fairgrounds RV Park with Stewart Construction in the amount of $3,086.71. Second. Second. Aye. Aye, and the motion is carried. Item number 13, approve the quote for garage doors for the Third Street by Garage Door Center, Inc. Sean Riley for the BOCC. Thank you. This is a request to have six doors replaced up at 3rd Street in the storage area. Um, that was the old BM, BLM office, and some of the doors are just falling apart. It's kind of a safety security hazard. So we had Garage Door Center come out and give us a quote to replace them. I thought it was a pretty good price for six doors. We have the money in the five-year plan to pay for it. Okay. All right. Motion. Um, I move that we approve the quote for the garage doors for the uh, Third Street um, location with Garage Door Center, Inc. in the amount of $3,757.50. Second. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Aye, and the motion is carried. Public comment? None. 214, meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone.